Okay, so we've got 3 times 5x minus 7, then subtract 9, right? So again, we are trying to simplify this expression. There's no equal sign, so it's not called an equation. It's called an expression. We, we're not solving for anything. We're just simplifying, right? Um, we've got to... We've got a multiplication going on here because we have a 3 sitting right beside a parenthesis. Then we have a subtraction, subtract 9. We want to kind of get rid of these parentheses first so that we can then, we're then in a position to add like terms. So we're going to use the distributive property and multiply that 3 in here and here to see what we get. So what would we get if we did that? We multiply 3 times 5x, which is 15x. Yep. Right, right. So we get 15x minus 21. Good. So if we multiply 3 in, you get 15x minus 21. And you can then just bring down the negative 9. And now we need to combine like terms. So what do we get when we combine like terms? We add negative 21 and negative 9 together to get negative 30. Because 21 yeah. negative plus 9 negative is 30 negative. Perfect, yeah. You can combine these numbers here to negative 21 to negative 9. You can change subtraction to plus negative, plus negative. 21 negatives and 9 negatives makes 30 negatives. And so you have 15x minus 30. Um, and the other way to do it is you could think, hey, I'm in debt by $20. I spend $9. Now I'm in debt by $30. So you don't have to change them to negatives. You can just think of them as negatives or subtractions. But in any case, you you don't have like terms at this point, so your final answer is simply 15x minus 30. These are not like terms, so you cannot combine them. All right? Perfect.